just a second though. The white tip is really a darker gray than a lot of these um, sharks. And then she has a few little white tips, of course, on all the fins. I have two white tips, a, a male and a female, and it's a mom and a son. So we do have um, sharks being born in here. I have some pregnant sharks in here now. Um, at least two of the sandbar sharks are pregnant. This looks like one of them right here. Look how big the stomach is on that That one's got a big one, too. Um, I don't know, I think a lot of our sandbars are pregnant. <laughs> now see, this is a normal sandbar. You see how that stomach is not extended? Of course, now you have to look and make sure it's a female. <laughs> it could be a male with a beard, though, right? <laughs> um, but you have to make sure they're females. Who knows how to tell the difference in males and females in sharks and rays? Anybody? Okay, luckily it's pretty easy. I have to have um, a volunteer come by though, so that I can show you. And a male would be preferable. Easier to tell a male. Um, this is a female. What you're going to look for though is you're going to look at those fins right there. Those are called pelvic fins. Now males have these two finger like um, appendages sticking in, out from, and all these are females. They have our pelvic fins. Oh, there you go. That's a male. The two finger like appendages sitting right on the belly. You can only see one maybe, but there's two there. Um, with these, see these are female gray reef sharks. A lot of gray reefs coming by right now. Um, let's see if we have a male stingray. There's a male stingray. You see those two? See how big the appendages are on the stingrays? And so that's a male stingray. And of course, this is once you get a female looks pregnant. That's definitely a pregnant female. Um, hi, cutie, what are you? What is this one? 